Well, we're finally coming to a close on the Hyundai Palisade oil consumption saga. We just had our third check and have an update for you guys. All right, so for those who are curious, uh, this is basically trying to figure out why 2020 Hyundai Palisade is consuming around a quart of oil every thousand miles, sometimes more. And in the case of this third consumption test, which is essentially you bring the vehicle into the dealership and they check to see how much oil it's burnt, we actually burnt more than a quart of oil. So you would think that this means that we're kind of getting closer to a resolution with Hyundai, but in talking with the dealership, it seems like it's not gonna to amount to anything. So I truly don't know why Hyundai's making customers do this. And I know that there was a class action lawsuit that was filed. Uh, I did some digging trying to find some information about it. It was a few, you know, basically a few customers of the cars. And it wasn't specifically the Palisade. It was actually for the Sonata uh, and some of the older models. But clearly this is still happening. And the problem with that uh, class action lawsuit is it seems that it's been thrown out or discontinued or something of that nature, which of course is not good news for Hyundai customers. This last check uh, like I said, it was just over a quart. So it was 1.3 quarts and it was about 1,100 miles. It's consuming more. That's not exactly a great feeling. My biggest problem, however, is that we have one more check. And then, I mean, it, it's kind of in a way, I know it's not going to amount to anything just from what I'm hearing from the dealerships and from talking to you know, you guys in the, having the same issue that we're essentially wasting our time. But we're going through the process for warranty claim or whatever, and to see if we're actually going to have a, you know, a solution that's going to result in a newer engine or some sort of a modification so that this doesn't continue to happen. The problem is, in all likelihood, I'm guessing that the resolution is going to be my wife selling the vehicle. Um, you know, if I'm driving it and managing it, maintaining it, whatever, I fully expect that I can throw a quart of oil. I did it for my BMW and it wasn't a big deal. I don't really think that she wants to, nor should she have to remember to carry around a quart of oil and every thousand miles, make sure that you top it off. I, you know, I'm, I'm really am hoping, uh, fingers crossed if you will, that we will get to the end of this. We have our final consumption test in about 700 miles and see what Hyundai says. Regardless, I am gonna share what the findings are. I'm hoping for at the very least some sort of documentation that explains why it's not covered. What I'm guessing is I'm going to get the runaround from the dealership and they're going to say that Hyundai has denied it, but I'm not privy to any actual details or information because it just seems that's how these manufacturers operate with uh, issues like this until it actually becomes a recallable element that you then get an email or a uh, you know, physical letter explaining what needs to be done. So I wish I had a better update. I wish I could say, hey, you know, we've got some great information and here's what you do. But unfortunately, this is more of just the continuation of the saga. Yeah, we have one more consumption test. Once that's complete, I will provide an update. One way or another, close out this saga and get on to more and exciting things. But as always, I appreciate you guys checking out these videos. I hope this has been informative. Hopefully you're not dealing with Hyundai like we are. But if you are and you want to see the finale, uh, definitely make sure that you subscribe as I should be creating that video in, I would say by estimates, probably about a week or two, uh, depending on how often we drive the vehicle. So thanks again. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.